we talked about the design we talked about the product positioning but now we have to talk about the hardcore the meat and potatoes the engineering behind these concepts Mr. Velu Sami, thank you for being here. Thank you for showing us all of this. Uh, the president of Mahindra Auto, talk us through the new platform, the new IQ platform that you spoke about. It's a big shift from Mahindra. Before we talk about the platform, we must also talk about how you went to the born electric or the electric origin architecture, and now you're back to a platform that can accommodate ICE as well as EV. Is that a learning from customer taste? So um, we had to classify multiple vehicles into two different groups. Anything about 4.7 meters and roughly 2,000 kilos uh, cab weight. They need a rear wheel drive. They need a rear wheel drive to push the vehicle to accelerate. You know, Mahindra stands for spirited performance and you need that one. If you have to put the motor in the rear, you need the the OCDC plus the wiring plus the cooling, all of them, you, you need a lot of overhang. Um, whereas in the compact segment, where you are at 4.3 meters and 4 meters, it's about 1,500 kilos cab weight. There is a natural alloy between the front wheel drive and the split air performance. Mm -hmm. So you don't necessarily need the motor to be in the rear. Okay. That's what we have learned. We made a prototypes and we found out this. Mm. Okay, it works very well perfectly. So what do we do now? That means the compact segment electric architecture is not common with the 4.7 electric architecture. That's the first learning that mm. we have done. And naturally, you are also not able to fit it in the rear because you need some space for the spare wheel, mm. right? Uh, so then we said we can, if that is not common ally, then we can make it common with the ice. Mm. Correct? Mm. Yes. So then we said, okay, we make Bond ice and Bond EV. Mm. The Bond EV requires the flat floor mm. and it requires certain length of the wheelbase because you need to get certain uh, battery pack size to get the uh, range. So therefore, the current 2600 millimeters of the compact segment, uh, the wheelbases that you see worldwide is limiting the battery pack size. Mm. So we said we will move it to 2665 millimeters. So get the decent uh, or the affordable range battery pack size. That's one important thing. Mm. Then we need the flat floor. So we made the flat floor. If we make the flat floor and the, fit the battery, that becomes born electric. Mm. Uh, which means you need to rise the ground clearance. So we did rising the ground clearance. Uh, that obviously gave the second row seat. Always the the driver and co-driver seats, you have enough room to stretch it. Mm -hmm. But what is compromised in the given uh, passenger car length of the overall length of the car, the second row is always compromised. Yes. So we put all the, uh, the extra 65 millimeters into second row. So if a person is uh, six feet tall, mm. the hip is roughly 50%. So the hip to toe is about three feet. Three feet is about 920, 930 millimeters. So we want it to be 940 millimeters. Mm. Mm. So that is what you are seeing it in the mm. second row. You can completely stretch your mm. uh, seat. And the other thing in the compact vehicles are the claustrophobic feeling mm. inside. So you need a real spacious uh, cabin. Uh, so we made a real spacious cabin. Mm. So when you sit inside, you really have the space. What does that mean? What are the challenges? Uh, you have a battery pack and the raised gr ground clearance, and you have a, a, a wheelbase which is longer, um, and then you have a spacious cabin. That means your CG can be higher. So we said we need a suspension system that can solve this problem. Mm. And we need a damper technology that can solve this problem. So we looked at the suspension systems in this segment. You will see twist beams, mm. which are like leaf springs. Yeah. And then you have uh, the damper technologies. Um, we wanted to go to, we were thinking about three link or the four link. We saw, we brought the cars with the three link suspension mm. system and four link suspension system from Europe. And we did drive and then we found, oh no. That's not the way to go. Mm. Then we said we have to bring in the filing suspension. 
So we brought, uh, we decided to go uh, filing suspension. So we brought the filing suspension. It beautifully decouples the side loads, the vertical loads, the forward loads. Mm. These three things you have mm. to. Mm. And then you have to take care of then when you are turning, mm. your toe is kept inside mm. so that the stability, it follows the front wheel. Mm. Otherwise, mm. It, it follows mm. somewhere else. Mm. It loses the stability. Mm. So for the toe, for the camper, for the vertical loads, for the side loads, for the uh, mm. forward mm. loads, Mm. All of them, the filing suspension mm. takes care. Mm. Also, you have a lot of learnings from the 700 with the filing. Of course. And then you have the uh, the vertical movement, the ride quality. Mm. If you have to get the best ride quality for this, the body has to be extremely light. Mm. So we made the hot stamping steels as part of the body design. Mm. We made the lightest body uh, mm. that you see it mm. here. Mm. And you saw the ratio 26.5 that I referred, yes. you can remember. The light body also gives the light load on the suspension mm. springs. Mm. You know, that's a moss mm. sitting on yeah. there. Uh, and also the agility, mm. the spirited performance. Mm. It gives the mm. two things. Also in crash performance, the load comes down mm. when it mm. is crashing. Mm. Uh, so the, the, the damper that we wanted to control the body uh, roll, uh, we wanted a, a, a body controlling point mm. from there we never wanted the uh, the force to rise mm. so mm. we wanted a horizontal force mm. that i have explained in the picture yeah. you can put it in the picture and see it it was not available the damper technology mm. so we called the supplier and we said we need this technology that needs to be developed for mm. these vehicles mm. uh, in order to get the best ride quality mm. they said we have an idea how to develop it so we co-partnered with the supplier we developed it now it's mm. running in the vehicles in the mm. road. Mm. Uh, when you drive the car, it likes solid. So, uh, if you uh, compare it with your MTV CL dampers, and this would be what 10% better, 20% no, better? It's far different. It's far different. Now, in C, it's the new code. Okay. Yeah, when you drive the car, you uh, uh, These cars will also take transverse engines. Now, with yeah. uh, the Vision T. Yes. In your past, in the third, you've yes. had longitudinal engines. So. Yes. It changes the whole characteristic of the car. So it is the body stiffness mm. and it is the suspension system. Uh, it's a whole lot different. It's mm. a different characters. Mm. Uh, but the behavior, what I've driven the cars, of one course. of the car is in uh, in testing. Mm. It, it, you love it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You love it. Uh, the Thar has also stood for rear wheel drive or proper 4x4, not all wheel drive. Uh, the customers, what do you think? Will they accept this radical shift in architecture? You know, the three-door Thor uh, with 1.5 litre rear-wheel yes. drive, it's not an all-wheel drive. Mm. Uh, you get 50% of the sales is from that. Yes. You can see it from the yes. market share. So, I'm not sure um, it is the four-wheel drive option that the customers are looking for. Mm. It is also an affordable f uh, factor that mm. is playing around. Mm. Uh, bear in mind, this is the compact segment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm. you have to have that affordability yes. at the yeah. aspirations are being yeah. fulfilled. Yeah. That's, the, that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. But does this also mean that the lifespan for a yeah. body on frame is yeah. now limited even now with you moving towards these? It is more uh, options. Monocle? It is more options. Nowadays, people are not being they are not identifying themselves to be one among the common people. Mm. They want to live their lives. Mm. They want mm. to live their aspirations. Mm. Someone wants this, someone wants that, someone mm. wants that. Mm. So it's a, it's an array of options that the customers are looking for. And our job is to give the array of yeah. them. As long as the platform we are able to commonize with the multiple products, mm. Mm. you can offer mm. the array of mm. options. And That's you will it. have an all-wheel drive option. Yes, of course, we declared it, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. that will be like a clutch-based all-wheel drive on the... The multi-suspension, uh, multi-link suspension yeah. obviously allows you. If it is yeah. a twist beam, then it's a yes. very difficult job. Yeah. It's easy just to latch it yeah. on and yeah. then put it. A very high, high ground clearance yeah. gives you option. The multi-link suspension will also be offered on the compact SUV, the Vision X? It depends on... Uh, some variants might have it. Okay. And some variants will have a, a, a differences in the links, but... Um, Right now, the thinking is yes. Okay. The platform is common. Because for the compact SUV segment, now we already have seen this architecture See, with the 7 you want to put it in another uh, suspension, mm. then you have to all new developments. Yes. Right? No, I'm just saying that it's going to be like a huge step up in terms of dynamics in the compact exactly. SUV segment. Exactly. Because nobody's ever yes. offered anything yes. close. Yes. Like with the 7 w we've we seen it. We are not but, looking yeah. for incremental improvements. If you mm. look at the luggage space, mm. we are talking about 15% increase. Mm. Mm. Anything 5% is incremental. Yes. Anything 10% is a significant. Mm. Anything 15% is phenomenal, in mm, right? Mm, mm. I mean, I mean, if the luggage weighs 15%, yeah. I'm, 
Well, with your Inglo architecture, your Bond Electric architecture, what learnings have you got which have now gone into this? It's multiple learnings in the software architecture that you have seen. Hmm. So the hardware layer, uh, hardware operating layer, hmm. Hmm. Uh, the so software that is yeah. for the operating. And then the software layer and the application mm -hmm. layer, all of them we have brought it already yeah. into it. So OTA compatibility, uh, we we all of them we have it already. Yeah. So it's a that's big learning. Yeah. The crash that you saw, mm -hmm. multiple crash uh, uh, patterns and the design options that mm -hmm. we have gone mm -hmm. in suspension. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. The back two has a uh, yeah, technology uh, yeah. that has taught us. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, this this has been. Every time you develop it, you you find a gap. Oh mm. my! We should have done this, mm, mm. and then you keep implementing mm, it. Mm. So that's uh, it's it's a learning. Mm. It's a learning uh, that you do. You are close to the product. Mm. The learning is something. For me, if you find a solution, it fulfills the customer aspiration. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. how we link. Mm -hmm. And then how how best you strategize and bring it mm -hmm. uh, to the next wave of products. Um, scale of economy uh, okay. is very very important mm -hmm. and that's why this platform commonization mm -hmm. uh, is so important mm -hmm. um, for example X vision yes. will get all the benefits of the three products mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you said filing suspension mm -hmm. if I try to design the twist beam then mm -hmm. you're more varianting from the platform mm -hmm. and the economy of scale will yeah. give you the largest benefit so yeah. you you are not impacted yeah. with the uh, filing suspension yeah. Yeah. Uh, cost impact yeah. yeah with these ice especially the petrol you will have to move towards hybrid by the time you bring this out so um, uh, you know there is a standard position of us we try electric uh, we keep trying electric uh, with ice mm -hmm. on combination mm -hmm. we believe that uh, we need to be um, focusing on our electric journey that we have taken mm. and we have been so successful mm. now if you see mm. the sales of the electric yes unless there is a, a different trend mm. uh, the current trend tells us mm. but did you electric but does the current trend also signal an end or a demise to pure combustion engines it doesn't i mean uh, where are you you are 5% electric yes. yeah so 95% is ice right mm. Mm. I mean, it's not so easy to replace this whole infrastructure mm, mm, to bring mm, in mm, uh, the electric to yeah, the yeah. ice will continue. Yeah. Uh, will legislation force you to have hybrid engines? Why would they do it? Even the electric is mm. not forced through regulation. Mm. It is forced through the incentives okay. or enabled through incentives. Mm. Forcing a technology will mean you are acting on behalf of someone. Okay. Enabling means you are act, acting for someone of future generations. Mm, mm. You want to leave this uh, world with the lowest mm. CO2 concentrations. Mm. Pre-industrial world are mm. 30, 40 mm, mm, and mm. we are about 400 now. Why would you... You have borrowed the earth from your generations. Mm. Why would you leave high, highest level of CO2s? Mm, 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 so, yeah. I, I, I feel very uncomfortable with yeah. that. We are looking at these as concepts, but you mentioned that prototypes are already running no, on the these road. these are production concepts. These are production concepts. Yes. So, what we see is more or less what we are going to get. So, what you saw in August 22, you got yes. it in uh, end of 2024. Mm -hmm. You can extrapolate the same thing. Okay, so basically what we see is uh, including the SXT with the funky rear. If you don't productionize, you will be disappointed, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we don't want to disappoint you. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. you very much and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir.